everybody, it's Amanda here from ScreenPainMama.co.uk Today I'm going to make a bright and cheerful card for you And I'm using the beautiful Peacock um, stamp which is a celebration set And um, I would challenge you to nip on over to Pinterest Type in beautiful Peacock stamping up And have a look at all of the amazing samples that have been created using this Because there's countless colour combinations and countless ways of doing it And it just gives beautiful results so I've started with some Melon Mambo and I have already done my layering on this Melon Mambo cardstock and I cut that to 11 and a half by 4 and 1 8 and then we have here um, Night of Neva which is 1 8 of an inch smaller and then we've got Melon Mambo again another 1 8 of an inch smaller I'll put the measurements on my blog to all of these layers and then I did um, layer them up. I've started my film again if I'm honest because I made a bit of a boo-boo <laughs> so that's why this is already done um, but I don't like it when my cards are completely messed up and I can't get out of it so I'm starting again so what we're doing is we're going to use this beautiful peacock we're going to use the body we're going to use the fan tails we're going to use this beautiful flourish which you could use for anything and I'm going to do it in a certain technique and what I'm going to do is I'm getting Melon Mambo and I'm going to on my large E block I'm going to put Melon Mambo direct onto my block lots of it like so and then I'm going to make sure I haven't got any ink on my fingers in a minute and then I've got Bermuda Bay here we go Bermuda Bay which is lovely bright green greeny blue stunning and I'm going to add that on as well now if it overlaps I'm not going to worry about the small amount of pink there I'll wipe that off with a bit of kitchen roll shortly okay and then this is going to be my little palette for stamping and it's going to give me a nice multicoloured effect I'm just going to just give my hands a clean because I had to start my video again because I blobbed fingerprints, inky fingerprints, all over my card. <laughs> so I'm starting again. So I'm going to start with the fantails that go behind the peacock. And I'm stamping onto my inky block to pick up the colour. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp this just about, about here I think there okay give that a press and there we go we've got that multicolored almost like a tie-dye effect and then I'm gonna get the um, I'm gonna do the, the flourish first actually then I'm gonna get my flourish stamp here and I'm going to in fact I'm gonna have it that way to pick up the color that way and I'm gonna stamp onto my inky block okay Make sure I ain't got none on my fingers. Move that out of the way. <laughs> and then I'm going to add this to my peacock feathers. Okay. Like so. And I'm getting a multicoloured sort of tie-dye look. Let me just clean my stamp. And then I can go and ink it back up. Okay. And just dry that off. And then I can go and get some more ink. Right, and I'll do it the other way this time. Oop, put my hand in that ink pad. I don't want any ink on my fingers. Okay, and then... And you're going to get a different look each time you stamp on that block, depending which way around. I turned my stamp the other way around that time. So now the green's at the top and the pink's at the bottom. And uh, you can just have some awesome fun with that. So I'm going to do it. Uh, I think I'll go along that way now. I'll just do a couple more. I'll do one going that way. And then I'll let it just fly off the page. Uh, do I want another? I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I could go too far and then it would um, spoil the look of that multicoloured effect. So now my challenge is to get the bird... The body of the bird into this void here. Now, had my stamparatus arrived yet, or stamparatus, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> this would be really easy. But I'm going to do it by eye, and I'm using dapper denim. And if it's not precise, hey ho, it doesn't matter. 
let me just wipe that excess ink off the corner there because I don't want anything on my to spoil my card I'll still have to start again <laughs> right so we've got a little void here where the beak would go and then we've got like the neck and the body so I'm going to line it up the best I can um, let me have a look I would say about there and I'm just going to go for it if it's not quite lined up it's not quite lined up Okay, that's not a bad job. I've not done bad there, to be fair. Right, um, just one other thing that I do want to just show you, although I'm not going to use it on my card, is if you've got this multicoloured inky block and you get your blender pen and you roll your blender pen across there, you can then go ahead and do rainbow colouring. Okay, now if I was any good at lettering, I could then use that to write... Uh, on my card but I'm not I'm rubbish I'm still learning so I'm not doing it yet and then you know you just clean it off but it will give you multicolored like a multicolored pen I think I think it's fun so let me move that and I'm just going to leave that to dry a moment while I do my sentiment um, so here we go <clears throat> where's my sentiment gone here it is and I think it says beautiful friend I'm going to do it in dapper denim Beautiful friend. That's nice, isn't it? Let me just practice it because I've not done it before. I like to practice stamp um, new stamps, especially photopolymer ones, to make sure they're going to stamp nicely. There we go. Oh, I'm not happy with that. We'll do it again. Give that a... No, not happy with that. Let me do it again. It's because sometimes I have trouble with the smaller stamps and just getting them just inked up right and then you've just got to do the right amount of pressure. There we go. <laughs> sometimes I'm too careful and then it doesn't stamp right because I'm being careful not to stamp wrongly, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to cut this out by hand and I just want it to be a nice small sentiment just in the corner of my card. Um, I don't want it to be overbearing at all. I'm just going to trim it until I'm happy that it's fairly straight, to be honest. There we go. Ta-da, is that straight? Let me put it in my grid block, I don't know. <laughs> is it eh? It's never seen straight, that. Let me have another go. I've been out left of it in a minute. There we go, that's better. That's better, that'll do for me. And then I'm just going to attach that onto some melon mambo and then cut round it again. Let's do it that way so I can see what I'm doing. Lovely. Load that onto there. There we go. Trim it out. With my wonky eye, I'm not too concerned that it's not perfect. I just want to trim that one down slightly. This is why sometimes using circular punches is easier. But you know, I like to do things the difficult way if I can. Yeah, you know. <laughs> right, let's get this layered up. Okay, I'm just going to use my fast fuse. You can see where I did my first attempt and I blobbed it there, so I started again. Okay, so let's get this layered up nicely. On to there. It's a, it's a fun technique to try. Um, and as you can see, it is like a tie-dye effect. It's, all, it's lovely, I really, really like it. Right, I'm going to add that on dimensionals. I think pop that up on some dimensionals like so get those off the weather's brightening up now it's uh, doesn't look like the end of the world anymore it looked like the end of the world about 10 minutes ago it was shocking I'm just going to put that in the corner like so which is fairly fairly straight and then I'm just going to add some 
some sparkle, I think, to my peacock. Why not? So let's add some rhinestones to the eyes of the feathers, as they call them. I remember when I was a young child in Huddersfield, where I live, in one of the parks where there's an old, old house. Um, anybody that lives near me will know it, Ravensnell Park. They used to have peacocks roaming about um, when I was younger. I remember them very distinctly. Beautiful as well they were. Not anymore, not these days. You couldn't leave anything roaming about, could you, in this day and age? And I think this looks absolutely lovely with some diamantes on and I'm going to add some to the feathers as well I'm going to pick a slightly larger side and I'm just going to add them where there is a leaf uh, I think I might add one on the end of there as well and one on the end I'll have a beautiful tie-dye sparkly card there we go. There we go. And I think that I'm really, really loving this effect. I will try it again um, with different colours and different combinations. Just be careful which colours you do put together, you know, because some colours just don't mix well and they end up looking like gravy or mud or worse. <laughs> you don't want that, it's not a good look. One more and then we're good to go, I think. I might just put a tiny wee one just there on the top of the peacock's head like so. And there we go, we've got a beautiful, beautiful card which will catch the light as well. I hope you'll give it a try. I hope you'll give the inky block technique <laughs> a try because it's all some fun. It's all about getting inky fingers and uh, trying new things. So I hope you'll give that a try and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.